So how can I set up my QuickBooks correctly? This is uh, one of the most common questions I get via email. Actually, uh, I got an email earlier this morning and I really liked uh, what the email said. I'm gonna show you a screenshot of that. And it says, Hector, I've been watching your YouTube videos and they've been very helpful. Thank you for what you do, okay. However, I'm trying to set up my QuickBooks in order, but I don't seem to catch up. That's a really common theme that I get on the emails is, you know, I'm trying to catch up, something in my QuickBooks is messed up or not set up correctly, or I have too many accounts or too little items or not enough items or too many items. And I can, I can pretty much get it functional. I can do invoices, print checks. This is the most common thing that I get. I can do all that, but I can't get my bank balances to match. And I feel like a lot of transactions are not categorized correctly. Sometimes it feels like deposits are being duplicated. I'm spending way too much time to try to figure this out. I'm a graphic designer, not an accountant. And I feel that I'm spending way too much time in this stuff. And uh, there has to be a better way to speed things up so I can concentrate on working with my clients. Can you or someone in your team help us? And what would the cost be? Okay, so that's a very common question I have. Almost every day I get two to three emails like that. Somebody watches a video uh, or a couple of videos from my YouTube channel. Uh, they feel the videos are helpful, but there's a lot of particular things with their business that is just it's not as simple as the video makes it look there are uh, balances from previous years there are potential errors it feels difficult to catch up so in this video i'll kind of talk about uh, what are the things that i look at uh, when i help people set up their quickbooks correctly and get on the right track now i couldn't make a video long enough that would cover every single possibility of what's wrong with your QuickBooks file and why is it not set up correctly. But on this video, I'm gonna walk you through what are the things that I do when I sit down with someone for the first time ever, I never met him before, to look at their QuickBooks and in an attempt to within maybe two or three hours, sit down, clean it up, train them, show them how to do it right, get them on real time data and make them feel very comfortable so they can go along and, and run their business while their QuickBooks is in order. So the first thing I look at is beginning balances. So if there's a tax return for last year, I wanna make sure that whatever the other accountant did in terms of beginning balances, that I bring all those balances in. I also wanna look at the chart of accounts. Are there enough accounts? Are there too many accounts? Are there redundant accounts? Are there accounts that don't match the industry or the situation? Um, and then kind of just walk the user through, okay, these are the income accounts you should be using for this circumstances. These are the expense and cost of goods sold accounts you should be using for that circumstance. And we start merging the accounts that are duplicated and redundant and deletes the stuff that, that, that you don't need. Now, there's another area on the chart of accounts that's really important, which is your bank accounts, your credit card accounts, your loans. All these things need to be created with the correct beginning balances so they can roll forward to the current year as you're reconciling and keeping up with them in real time. Now, connecting the banks and credit cards, really important. Most major banks allow you to establish a connection from your QuickBooks uh, and your bank so it downloads the transactions in real time. The problem is sometimes we connect them and we don't get enough transactions or sometimes we connect them and we get duplicate transactions. So part of the process of setting up QuickBooks is making sure that all those duplicates are deleted, that you're only bringing in the new stuff uh, that needs to be brought in, and then you know how to categorize them correctly as they come in, and you set up the bank rules. So QuickBooks starts automating some of the more common predictable type of transactions. Like if you keep going to the same gas station, QuickBooks should be categorizing it correctly. Uh, but in some cases, QuickBooks is, is smart, but not that smart. And it'll start categorizing stuff that you know it's supposed to be something else to an entirely different category that really has nothing to do with what you actually spent in that place. And the problem is, again, QuickBooks is trying to do things for you, but sometimes it can even cause a bigger mess. So you have to know how to get into the bank feeds uh, and the bank rules and change all that. Now, another thing that we tend to do a lot is what we call cleanup and catch up. So cleanup for the most part is deleting 
uh, stuff that's not supposed to be there, stuff that doesn't clear the bank. So we go through the reconciliation process and delete everything that's a du potential duplicate or something that was miskeyed or entered by error. And catch up means getting your banks reconciled up to, let's say, last month. So at least you're working on the current month and you and, and you can and you can work in real time because at any point in time when you're trying to uh, catch up with your own books and you're two months behind, three months behind, that stuff is really discouraging and it, it tends to turn people down away from accounting and it tends to be even a bigger issue altogether, which is they just use QuickBooks to print checks or just use QuickBooks for invoices and they ignore everything else and then no longer QuickBooks becomes useful for making decisions. So we think it's really important to catch up so you only have two to three, let's say 10 transactions a day to enter and it doesn't feel like an overwhelming process. The other thing that we do is basic workflow. So you know how to enter your estimates, your invoices, your payments, enter your purchase orders, your bills, your bill payments. You know, you have to know how, to, how the process works inside QuickBooks and how it adapts to your industry because not everyone does in invoices, not everyone does inventory, not everyone does purchase orders, not everyone manages accounts payable, not everyone does budgets. I mean, every company and every situation is different. So once we understand kind of what your business is and what you sell and, and, and what your business is all about, we'll kind of design a couple of basic workflows and teach you how to do it. Uh, that way, what you're doing makes sense and it actually does match a real life uh, transaction. Then we do a report creation. That is the really important piece. Once you're cut up and beginning balances are correct, okay, how do I get information out of QuickBooks in a meaningful way so I can make decisions with this information? Um, you know, decisions could be something like filing a tax return or making some prepayments to tax or hiring someone or firing someone, buying more inventory, less inventory, figuring out which clients make you profit, which ones don't. So you can start, you know, weaning off the type of projects that don't, that, that are not profitable and focus on the projects that are. So those type of custom reports uh, come into play really, really handy when it comes to that. And lastly, we do what's called closing the books. So we'll make sure that everything's reconciled to last month or last year, whatever it happens to be. Uh, lock those books down, password protect them so you can actually use them for a tax return and no one can touch them. So if there's an audit, you actually have a great backup uh, for uh, for your audit. So unfortunately, it's just really, really hard to give someone a price, especially um, with emails like that when people say, this is my situation, I need to catch up, give me a price. I really don't know how much time it's going to take us. I don't know how complex it's going to be. I don't know if you're going to want me to maybe log in remotely and, and help you catch up 12 months worth of transactions. I don't know if maybe one hour is enough for me to give you all the tools and then you take over. I don't know how long it's going to take and I don't know how much work is going to be and how many people in my office will be involved. So I can't just give a price up front. But I ask most people to budget between two to $500. And I would say that's kind of a good uh, starting point. Now, I've had some companies that have spent two to $3,000 just getting cleaned up, uh, but it was worth it because that information becomes really handy for running the business afterwards. Also, the size of your business matters. You know, if you have a really small business, is it worth spending $500, $1,000 on catching up last year? A lot of people tell me, you know what, Hector, just, just show me how to do last month and I'll, I'll take over from there. And then maybe we go, we go with something short, like one hour or two hours. So I'm not a big fan of charging by the hour. I prefer to charge based on uh, value and based on the results that I bring. But on these type of engagements, like, hey, Hector, just help me get caught up. Help me uh, use my QuickBooks correctly so I can move forward with my business. For that, like I said, I'll budget between two to $500 and then we'll go from there. So if you kind of have a situation like this, email me send me a list of all the things that you think is wrong, send me a list of all the things that, that you would like to learn, what the agenda is like, and we'll put together a one-on-one -on -one session with myself or someone else on my team uh, to kind of go through your QuickBooks, go through step-by-step -step what you need to do to, to learn it, uh, clean it up, and then get you set up so you can run it on your own in real time and you can feel confident about running your books. And hopefully we just need one meeting or two meetings and we'll be good from there. So we could also also help you with 
uh, your accounting all year long. We could also help you with taxes. I mean, I I can do whatever <laughs> whatever you ask me to do, but my sweet spot, our sweet spot, is helping you with that. You know, getting your QuickBooks in order so you can run your books on your own. You know, call us maybe once or twice a year for a couple questions here and there, but that you feel confident that that everything in there, who owes you, who you owe, inventory value, all that stuff, it's it's real information. And it's stuff that you can use to depend, uh, to make decisions on. So that's really where our goal is. And I'm also going to put a link to this article that I was showing you while I was reading uh, below in the description. Because it's a really, really good starting point And it also helps us plan any uh, training sessions that we can set up. Thank you.